Back now with a highway headache made worse by drivers breaking the law. Now this isn't a new problem. It's been going on for years. People entering I-64 to bypass traffic at the HRBT. They go the wrong way on a ramp meant for exits on Willoughby Spit. Now, state police say they've had enough and now they're doing something new about it. To know your side, Jason Marks is live in Chopper 10 now with the exit strategy for police. Jason? Yeah, we know how frustrating it can be sitting in traffic here in Hampton Roads. No one likes to do that, especially at the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. Let me show you what's going on below us right now. And you can see things are moving pretty well, but what happens is it starts to back up, and that's when problems at the 15th view ramp all begin. There's something about being close to the water. It's a nice place to live. And Norfolk's Willoughby provides the perfect getaway. It's peaceful, it's quiet. You don't have too much issues around here. Well, there is one issue. Really, to tell you the truth, a lot of us don't like it. And it's been a headache for a very long time. As you head toward Willoughby Spit in Norfolk. Ten on your side started following problems at the 15th view ramp years ago. But despite the warnings, dozens of drivers keep ending up at that on-ramp. I guess it's been an issue all along. It happens on and off. But it's the on and off ramp providing the source that's driving VDOT crazy. Our biggest fear is that someone's going to get hurt and there, there's going to be a collision. The 15th view ramp on Interstate 64 is the big concern for VDOT and state police. Normally, when traffic starts backing up from the HRBT, the ramp closes. As you can see from this home video, when that happens, some drivers find an ulterior way to get on the 64, be it an illegal one. A lot of traffic is driving up the wrong way on the ramp from 15th view onto 64 westbound. You heard that right. These ramp renegades chose to go up the off ramp. While we were out there, we saw several cars ignore wrong way and do not enter signs. Back to the present, Chopper 10 caught drivers still doing it. In the 20 years that I've worked, it, it, there's a lot of things that are startling, and yes, this is one of the startling ones. Over the years, more signs have been put up, warning drivers they're going the wrong way, and the signs aren't just at the ramp. We've got plenty of signs that light up that tells you 15th view ramp is closed but nobody pays attention to it. And as you can see right here, the tractor trailer does not even have enough room to make the U-turn to get into the flow of traffic. That's dangerous for vehicles that are coming down 64 westbound. State police and VDOT have seen enough. They know it's only a matter of time before somebody gets hurt. It's dangerous for the driver that's driving the wrong way and for the driver that is attempting to exit the interstate because it could cause a head-on collision. It could cause massive damage and possibly death. To put the brakes on the problem, VDOT and state police are ramping up the enforcement. It's just not safe. You don't know that somebody's not coming down that ramp. We saw troopers watching the ramp like a hawk. You could expect that to continue. Strict enforcement and hopefully the, the word will get out. It's just unreal. Just so afraid that something's going to happen ahead on. And somebody innocent's gonna be hurt. Neighbors pray for change. It's clear many are from out of town and are lost and turn around. And they've waited long enough for it to happen. It's mainly, you know, the people just trying to get onto that interstate, which is, you know, stupid. So you're looking live at the ramp again right now. The portion is still closed, and you can see where those cars are lining up, waiting for that uh, gate to open up talking to residents, they would like to see some sort of camera system, such as like a red light camera system. But for people who are getting on and off that ramp, that is something officials say Norfolk would have to put to have to install. That's the latest here in Chopper 10 with pilot Scott Abbott, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.